What's cracker lacking folks? It is Hulu here and today I'm going to show you exactly how I got into Legendary Arena and exactly how you can get into Legendary Arena. Now I only just reached Legendary today so I really do know what it is like right now in Arenas 9 and 10. The most popular decks how to counter them and what to do to defeat them. Now other YouTubers have made it into Legendary Arena a long time ago and they don't know what it is like right now currently in the Clash Royale Arenas 9 and 10. But I know exactly what's going on right now so I'm going to share it with you and I'm going to teach you how to make it to Legendary Arena. If you would like to make it into Legendary Arena, make sure to subscribe for more Clash Royale tips and tricks, and also like this video. Just hit the subscribe button below. So, just quickly, I also am doing a collaboration with Minecraft William, so make sure to go sub to his channel. Link will be in the description, and it will be coming out very soon, so everyone just get pumped for that awesome collaboration. So I'm gonna now play for you a replay of the match that got me into Legendary Arena. I wasn't playing defensive like I usually do when I'm about to get into another arena. So, so I am using the Golem Night Witch Lumberjack Electro Wiz deck, which is an absolutely crazy deck. And if you do want to check that video out, make sure to go check it out. The link will be in the description and I might be able to put it somewhere up here. The link might be somewhere up here. So please go check that video out. Go check the deck out. Watch this video first and then scroll back to here or click on the link, the link in the description and it will take you to go see that video. Anyway, that, that it will have a better description on the deck that I'm using. So I put the Night Witch down at the back. So her bats spawned. Um, they quickly got taken out by the, uh, the um, Ice Wizard. That was a really bad play at the start there. A bit of an elixir waste. Um, but, I mean, it really didn't matter, to be honest. That was a really good log there. Um, I did play the Skeleton Army. Which wasn't... I mean, it was a bit of a, a little bit of a waste, to be honest, in the end, especially because I also did zap the goblin, the goblin gang. But it did, it did get one or two hundred hits on the tower. So now, if you are in arenas nine and ten, you will know that lumber the Elliot barbs are one of the most annoying cards to defend against. And here, I did not defend against them well. But once again, with this mat. But once again, with this deck, it really does not matter. And you will see why it does not matter. Look at this. I didn't even bother to defend against his goblin gang. He, I just let him take the tower, pretty much. I mean, obviously, I was trying to defend, but I didn't want to waste my elixir trying to defend a, a tower with 400 um, HP left. So I chucked my golem down at the back. Um, and now, this is... This is where the deck really shines, using the golem. So, basically, what I just did is took out all his all his troops that, I mean, he tried to take out my supporting troops, but he really didn't. Um, the princess, though, did do good work on the bats, which was annoying. Um, so here we go. The distraction and the lumberjack play. That is the key to this deck. I'm telling you, look at the Lumberjack. He left that and it did so much work on the tower. Almost brought us back to level pegging again. Elite Barbs, I just bocked him with a skeleton army and logged it to get also get rid of the Princess and the Musketeer. Uh, I just left the Musketeer then. And the Goblin Gang was coming. I zapped with that little Electro Whiz and tried to take most of that out. Meanwhile, my lumberjack was going ham on the tower. So he had, he had to defend that push because look, it is very, very nearly gonna take out, look, very gonna, it's gonna take out his crown tower for sure, look at this. He spent too much elixir going for my crown tower and my deck is just too good at getting the three crown. So look at that, we did get the three crown in our final battle into Legendary Arena against a deck that many people find very hard to play against, which is the Elite Barbarian deck. And now that deck doesn't actually have a good 
counter for it. There is the, there is this the Skarmy, but as soon as the Skarmy gets taken out, there isn't really a decent for the elite barbarians in that deck. So basically, what you really want to do is just wait to double Elixir when the deck absolutely shines. The deck is absolutely incredible in double elixir and it will get the three crown if you play it correct. Now I'm not saying just let them take out the tower because please don't do that. That is that will be very bad. What what you want to do is defend but don't use more elixir than you have to. And don't stress if you get 1,200 points down on a tower or even lose the tower if you've had no damage on their tower because it is very simple to beat them. And now you may say, what if they have an Inferno Dragon? What if they have an Inferno Tower? There is a Zap in that deck and there is also an Electro Wiz. So even if they take out the Electro Wiz, you've still got that Zap there to Zap the either Inferno Tower or Inferno Dragon. And usually... By the time the Inferno Tower or Dragon has taken out the Golem and the Golemites, a card like the Lumberjack will have already gone ham on the tower because the Lumberjack is just so fast moving and I, that's what I love about it. I mean, pretty much all my deck is attacking, but it works. That's the key thing, it works. Now against an air deck, I have no defense really against an air deck. I don't have a single air troop in my deck. So basically you just have to go for the three crown or just try your best to defend using the archers, the electro whiz and the night witch. I often use a night witch because of her bats. They can be really good. They actually are really good against the lava hound, especially when they sort of build up around the lava hound and just take it out like that. Also very good against the balloon. The Electro Wiz will deal with the balloon very easily, so keep that in mind. Um, the archers deal with the graveyard decks, which is very helpful. But if you do want to see more content, I will be releasing more content for you to help you to get into Arena 10. If you do want to see that, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Now my last video did get over 400 views, so let's hope for something similar on this one. Make sure to like and subscribe, folks. And there'll be more tips and tricks in the next video. Hulu is out. Bye.